Thank you for hosting us this morning. As a professor here at Rutgers, what are the topics you focus on when choosing courses? Well, my main interests have always been to try to understand human origins, just where we came from, what it means to be human. I think uh, most people have a tremendous interest in understanding their roots, uh, but in uh, human evolutionary studies, uh, we look back into deep prehistory uh, to examine our roots. This is something that has always interested me and I try to convey that uh, to students. What has brought about this interest in human evolution? I've been interested in human evolution since, oh, fifth or sixth grade, and it coincided really with um, the wonderful discoveries of ancient human ancestors that Mary and Louis Leakey were making at Olduvai Gorge. As a researcher, you have probably done many research projects throughout your time. What are your main topics of interest? Well, I've, I've done research uh, all, of, all over um, parts of Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, also in India, and all of this research is, is aimed at understanding um, how the fossil record for human evolution formed. So my research has taken two main directions. One is, of course, to, to study the uh, fossils. I focus on the broken up animal bones at very early archaeological sites uh, dated to uh, around two million years ago uh, for what these can tell us about uh, the diet and subsistence patterns of our ancestors. I've spent a lot of time in modern ecosystems like the Serengeti National Park just watching uh, various carnivores uh, consume fresh carcasses um, seeing what they did to the bones, seeing what was uh, left over for would-be human ancestor uh, scavenger, um, studying uh, these bones. You have talked about the dietary and subsistence needs of our ancestors. How did you come up with such information during your research? This uh, comes mainly from, as I said, looking at the broken up uh, animal bones uh, that are associated with the uh, very early stone tools uh, which first appear in, in the human fossil record at about two and a half million years ago. So we have in these marks on bone surfaces slicing marks made with sharp edged stone flakes, uh, percussion marks made with uh, rounded hammer stones, handheld hammer stones, that are used to, to break the bones. We have these direct traces of um, our ancestors processing carcasses. Have you ever taken students along to help out with your research? I uh, commonly take graduate students with me and um, also undergraduates, although less frequently. As the director at the Center for Human Evolutionary Studies, you have to know most of what goes on in terms of research. Could you tell us some breakthrough and interesting things happening at the research center? The center was formed in 1996 in recognition of the fact that Rutgers is one of the few and, and indeed um, uh, the only uh, program in uh, the nation that offers training and top-notch research uh, in all aspects of human evolutionary studies from understanding the, the human fossil record to understanding the behavior and ecology of our closest living relatives, the monkeys and apes, uh, to um, understanding the genetic basis of modern uh, human behavior. Thank you very much for your time. I learned a great deal about human evolution, your research, and the Chez. Remember, if you would like to learn more about Dr. Robert J. Blumenshine and the Chez, please visit evolution.ruckers.edu. For RUTV, I'm Ariel Maggi.